There's a new game called Reflections, which is currently in Steam Greenlight right now. And it is basically you living your life, and that's it. The game's point is to do you, boo. Let's take a look. So it's basically a walkabout game. Uh, what you do is you explore your surroundings, pick stuff up. It starts out in black and white, but as you explore your world more, and this is also, you know, a very everyday world. This is a person going to an office, coming home, you mm -hmm. know, cleaning up his house. I think it's a him. I'm not sure. It's first person. Um, and basically that's it. Yeah. You begin the game uh, packing up your things to head out to college. You explore and interact. And the story reacts to how the player moves around, so it's pretty open-ended. It mm -hmm. seems like this is a real-life simulator, but not quite The Sims. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, theoretically, I haven't played it. You could fit in all sorts of different story, and mm -hmm. I think it could be interesting. And the mechanic wherein it starts off in black and white, but as you interact with things, they gain their color, that's an interesting mechanic just by itself. I could see uh, various other genres sort of using that. I think that that would be pretty cool. Um, have you played any of the big other, like, like Gone Home and I've played Gone Home. Tale? And what was the one in the office? Stanley Parable? Stanley Parable. I have not like, played that yet. No, I haven't played any of them. It's just, like, I play a lot of different genre, genres. That's not one of the genres that I'm particularly interested in. But, what, what I mean, what do you think about the rise of, basically... Real-life simulators? I mean, I don't even know. Like, I guess it's a real-life simulator, but it's mostly using a video game engine to tell a story as opposed to writing it or, mm -hmm. you know, delivering a monologue or well, something. Well, it's also very driven by you. I mean, in Gone Home, there was definitely a narrative. There was a goal mm -hmm. for you to figure something out. And this one seems more, like, based around just what you feel like doing. Yeah. And I don't... You know, honestly, it makes me feel a little bit sad and wistful. Like, mm -hmm. why don't I do these things in my real life if they're totally within <laughs> my grasp? Why don't I go back to why school? Why don't I go to work? Why don't I go to school? Why yeah. don't I go date someone and, and like, clean my house? Oh, God, I need to clean my house. Yeah. Uh, I've always liked the idea of trying to bring video game elements to the real life. I think that's why some of, like, the video gamey fitness communities online, where it's sort of like making life into an RPG and the real life things you do accrue you experience and stuff. Oh, I that like appeals that. to a lot of nerds, I think. Now, when you flip it around and it's turning, like... Like, I've never really been into Sims. I like video games in my world, but I don't know if I like... I, I think I agree with you. To go into there. Yeah, so... Look, I played The Sims. It's, it's not as not, real life as you would expect, especially if you have the vampire... And werewolf and ghosts and aliens installed. Well, you I haven't experienced those in your life. That's not to say that they don't exist. Um, look, I don't really like. Some of them have mechanics. Some of these games have some mechanics. I require a bit more to really get in, invested in a storyline. But at the same time, I also am not a huge fan so far of like Telltale games, like the, the Borderland prequel. What? <laughs> or Walking Dead or Game of Thrones. Even though I love Walking Dead, I love Game of Thrones. I even kind of like Borderlands. Um, so far I haven't been able to get into it. Like, I really want to read, uh, do Wolf Among Us, but I think that my lack of interest in it, and me being much more into more traditional genres, I, that doesn't really, it's irrelevant. Well, like, there's, yeah. there's I mean, enough room in the marketplace. for sure. Yeah, and I, I think that you might bring in people to play games like this that would never have played a more traditional, oh, mechanics-heavy video game. And we can repeatedly have discussions about what makes a person a gamer, and it might be that games like this feel like they're stretching the definition a bit thin. But at the same so. time, we want mainstream acceptance of video games, and we want video games to be seen as art. And it might be that you need things like this to, to, to get us over the hump, I guess. I can see this being very artistic, because mm -hmm. it does seem like, it, it, just from the trailer to me, it seemed like the point of this was to find value in little things around yeah. you and your normal life, and to understand that, you know, it may seem kind of mundane, but it has its own beauty. Mm-hmm. And to just like enjoy what you have and value that, and I think that's yeah. a very that's a very beautiful lesson to learn. Yeah. Though it's not necessarily what my goal is when I'm going to go play games on a personal level. What do you think? Would you play Reflections? Are you interested in what it has to offer, and what does it offer? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.